Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Welcome back on this beautiful Saturday evening. Despite all odds, we've got a gorgeous end of the day. Not really. I just kind of wanted to say that, to be honest. It is absolutely beautiful, though. Check out radar. There's nothing here. A big difference from when we were looking at some of that a few hours ago. That's because, look at this cold front. It's on its way out, and it's leaving plenty of clear space behind it. Now, there's a few things happening because of that. The first thing you'll notice is the temperature is dropping pretty quickly. We've got negative signs all over this map. We are going to be colder these next few hours than we were at this point yesterday. Keep that in mind if you get cold easily. You will want to layer, layer up overnight tonight. Trevorton's at 58. It feels like 58, and you're starting to see patches of blue sky. That's one of the nice things about that front passing. There's a lot of clearing behind it, a lot of dry air pushing those clouds out of the way. But the thing that you're not going to like, I'm blocking this part of the screen for a reason. Hold that suspense. The 50s, the 40s, and the 30s by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. It is going to be chilly, my friends. And for that reason, we actually do have a frost advisory for parts of the northern tier, like Coming, Clinton, and Center counties as well. That advisory starts at 2 a.m. and ends at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind. Take your plants inside. I'm not a good gardener, so I probably won't do that, to be honest. But you should so your plants don't die. Now, tomorrow, the Steamtown Marathon. It's going to be beautiful, cold, but beautiful. I mean, look at this. 7 o'clock, we're right around 40. By the time the race is really finishing up, we're looking right in the mid 50s. So it's not exactly the warmest day for a run, but we do get plenty of sunshine tomorrow, which helps us out a lot in terms of that feel. Especially if you're running, I gotta imagine you're working up a sweat, right? By the end of the day, we end up in the low and mid 60s, so pretty comfortable overall. We just have to deal with those colder temperatures to start the day. Again, it's not too bad, but one of the things the cold actually does is help propel the change in the leaves a little bit, brings us some of those really pretty reds. But I will say this you wanna get to the northern tier and the Poconos pretty quickly because those leaves are actually just about at peak right now. Now, southern Pennsylvania, you've still got about a week or two to really see the leaves start to change at their best, but either way, have that hike planned. Overnight tonight, the warmest spots will be in the low 40s, the coolest in the upper 30s. Yeah, there it is. We're starting to feel the season a little bit. We're in the mid-60s tomorrow for those warmer spots, the low 60s for the cooler places. We get plenty of sunshine tomorrow. It's a beautiful day overall. Monday and Tuesday, we keep the trend up, but another cold front comes through Wednesday. It really just brings us a lot of rain. By the time we get to Thursday, we start to clear out a little bit, just some clouds. Friday and Saturday, we have two more beautiful days to add to our week. Download the Eyewitness Weather app. That way, none of this catches you off guard. If you're at forgetful or maybe you just want to see hey am I getting rained on anytime soon that's what the app is for it's our forecast and radar in the palm of your hand so overall mark it's actually a really nice week except for Wednesday but I feel like we can deal with that I think we can deal with that for now in the meantime you better go you need to be dispatched somewhere I think I hear in the background yes see? thanks all right bye high school football week eight style